Hey there, Tiger fans, and welcome back to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium, where the 4 and 1 Maslin Tigers are up against the undefeated Fitch Falcons from Austin Town. Here tonight, I have for my color, Cale Bishops. How you feeling about today or tonight's game? I'm feeling pretty good, thank you. That's always great to hear. We got a great matchup. Maslin coming off a huge upset win over St. Ed's, the state champions of last year. Tonight's matchup is really going to be a special one. We got two great offenses, really good defenses on both sides, mainly on the D-line, especially on Austin Fitch's D-line. Number 23, Brian Robinson, the junior, has offers from all over, as well as Josh Fitzgerald, number 55, and Xavier Dawn, number 56. We can't forget about Maslin's D-line as well. We have Mike Wright Jr. at the nose tackle, as well as number 52, Marcus Moore, as a defensive tackle, and Malachi Card starting at the defensive end position. They've shown all season long that they can contend with almost anybody, and they can really adapt well. And now here come the Tigers, ready to set off a, hopefully another Tiger win. Leading that charge, holding the American flag is number three, Angelo Salvino followed by the rest of his teammates. Hopefully they put on a good show for everybody tonight. Tonight's quarterbacks for for Maslin is Jalen Slaughter, number two. And for Austin Town Fitch, it is number nine, Deshaun Vaughn. Both have shown that they can contend with almost any defense. Now as we get ready for tonight's national anthem.
There we go as we have the Maslin Junior High School Flyers, seventh and eighth grade. Now as we take a look at the stadium tonight, it looks like it's gonna be a nice night. Both, both sides of the stands are packed with Tiger fans and Fighting Falcon fans. Everyone, everyone here at WHS-TV would like to thank the following sponsors for their financial support. Allowing us to bring you tonight's game are our sponsors, Mears Nissan, Downtown Maslin Association, Doring Vision Center, Friends and Family Credit Union, the Maslin YMCA, the Home Appliance Company, the WHS Alumni Association, Spectrum Orthopedics, Discount Outlet, Maslin Boys and Girls Club, Buell and Oliveri Insurance, Discount Tire Outlet, Your Pizza Shop, Medicap Pharmacy, Cosmos Grill, Reliable Heating and Cooling, Buffalo Wild Wings and Maslin, Erie Street Pub, and MCTV. All right, as we're getting ready for this first kick, it does look like it is gonna be Maslin kicking off the ball to the Falcons. Kicking off, it does look like that is number 87, Nolan Hendricks, starting kicker for Massa. And the first kick is up. Looks like the ball will run out of bounds. Looks like that will put that will put the ball on the 35 yard line for the Falcons. Now Maslow's defense comes up. So does the Falcons' offense. It is number nine, Vaughn, at the QB position. Vaughn takes a snap. Looks like it is a fake handoff. Vaughn still has the ball. Goes down at about the 37-yard line. Looks like that was Malachi Card on the tackle for the Tigers. Vaughn takes a snap, drops back for a pass. Looks like, looks like it was a high snap. Didn't really get the ball off. He's gonna put them back a few more yards. It is now third down with 11 minutes and 29 seconds left on the clock of the first quarter. At the running back position, we have Jamel James for the Falcons. Vaughn takes the snap, drops back for a pass. Looks like the pass is complete. Looks like he might just be a little short of the first down. But no, they're going to give it to him. He's going to he's going to be at about the 46 yard line. It is now first and 10. Vaughn now takes a snap. Looks like it is a handoff to Jamel James. Doesn't look like he makes it very far. It is going to be no gain on the play. It is now second down. Second and 10 for the Falcons. Looks like the Falcons do have trips to the right side of the field.
Vaughn takes the snap. Looks like he's going to try and take it himself. Almost breaks one tackle. Looks to get to about the 48-yard line. It is now third down for the Falcons again. Once again, Vaughn takes a snap. Looks like he's dropping back for a pass, but he's being pursued by about all of the mass on the line. Just barely gets it off. And the pass is incomplete. That was intended for number one, Cam Smith. For the Falcons, it is going to be an incomplete pass, though. It just tips that one off up in the air. Potentially saved it from a Tiger interception. It is now fourth down for the Falcons. Looks like they are getting in punt formation. Punt is now up, and now was punted by number 47, Anthony Ruggles. Looks like the ball is going to come down at about. Tune in every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. for the Nate Moore Show on WHS-TV. Each week, Coach Moore reviews the previous game and looks ahead to the next opponent. Plus, you'll meet a Tiger captain. Watch the Nate Moore Show every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. on WHTV. Find us on MCTV channel 611 and 11. Jalen Slaughter takes the snap and looks like it was a handoff to Wiltrell Hartson, who does bring it up to about the 23 yard line. It is now second down for the Tigers. The Tigers do have the ball. That is number four for the Tigers, Will Trail Hartson, and number two, Jalen Slaughter at the QB position. Slaughter takes the snap. Looks like it is gonna be another handoff to Hartson. Finds a little success in the run. It is now third down with a run up to middle, bringing it to about the 26 yard line. Looks like Maslin is bringing out another running back, number 34, Dorian Pringle. Slaughter does have both running backs on both sides of his hips. Looks like it is a handoff to Dorian Pringle. Finds a little bit of room, but is tripped up after about 12 yard gain. It is gonna be a Tiger first down. It is gonna be at, a, at about the 41, or excuse me, the 36 yard line. Good run by the Tigers there. Already showing how much they can run. Slaughter takes a snap. Looks like it is a handoff to number four, Weltrow Hartson, who doesn't find as much success. It looks like he did go down at about the 40, 41 yard line. Looks like that is the 40 yard line. Slaughter takes a snap. Looks like it is another handoff to Weltrow Hartson, who tries to punch through that line. Does get a few yards. It is third down for the Tigers. It is on the 44-yard line. Has about two yards to go with eight minutes left in the first quarter. Jalen Slaughter again with two running backs on his hips. Looks like it is a handoff 
to Wiltro Hartson, who does find a little bit of room. He's going down to the 30, not to the 20. It does get pushed out at about the 15-yard line. That is on the Falcons' 15-yard line. Big run by the Tigers there by number four, Wiltro Hartson. It is about on the 16-yard line. Huge run by Wiltro Hartson. Jalen Slaughter then again takes a snap pass or handoff to Dorian Pringle number 34 does make it up to about the 11 yard line it is second down for the Tigers with about five to go Jalen Slaughter with both of his running backs at his hips Jalen Slaughter takes the snap, handoff to Wiltro Hartson, who almost gets caught up, breaks two tackles, and does eventually go down. Look at about. Looks to be about at the six yard line. It is now first in goal for the Tigers. Really using Will Hartson for his speed there. Dorian Pringle for his size. Jalen Slaughter takes the snap. Looks like it is a handoff to Hartson. Hartson going up the middle. Looks like he is going to get in for a touchdown. Already six minutes and 37 seconds left on the clock. It does look like Maslin does secure six points. That was by. Looks like we have number five, Vinnie Keller to hold the ball. He's going to kick this one off to attempt the PAT. Kick is up. Looks like that is going to be an extra point for the Tigers, bringing the score seven to zero. And now a message from Mears Nissan. It took a lot of hard work to get here, but Nissan's beginnings were never humble. We always gave our all to any obstacle that crossed our path. We overcame even the toughest mountains without letting anything stop us. We pushed ourselves through every terrain just to see how far we could go. Our beginnings got us here, but it's thrill that drives us forward to discover what else is possible. This is the new Nissan. Thank you, Mears Nissan. Now coming back, the score is seven to zero with six minutes and 37 seconds left on the clock. Looks like number 87, Nolan Hendricks, is going to kick this one away for the second time tonight. Kick is now up in the air. Looks like it is going to go about to the eight yard line. Falcons do find a little hole. That was number three, Dan Evans the third. Really just broke through three tires, one right up the middle. Looks like that is gonna be on the 29 yard line for the Falcons as their offense comes back out. Number five, Vaughn, coming out in the QB position. Looks like number 40, or 42, DJ Williams at the running back position. Number 42 does get a handoff. Looks like he is caught up by about two massive defenders. Looks like it is going to be a no gain on the play. It is going to be second down for the Falcons. Vaughn now takes a snap. 
Looks like it is a little pass to number 42, Williams. Looks like he does get almost sandwiched between two Tiger defenders once again. Does get a little bit of a gain on this play. It is going to be third down on the 34-yard line for the Falcons. With five minutes and 37 seconds left in the clock for the first quarter. Trips on the left side for the Falcons. Looks like they were trying to get Maslin to jump. There was no, there was no flag on the play. Actually, there was a flag on the play, pardon me. That is gonna put the ball on about the 39 yard line, giving the Falcons the first down. Vaughn still in the QB position. Looks like there is another jump by the Tigers, and looks like that was number 45, Mike Wright Jr. Looks like he is coming out, and that is number 73 taking his spot on that defensive line. That is Isaiah McElroy. Vaughn takes the snap, hand off to Williams, can't really find much room to go anywhere, and is taken down at about the 46-yard line. It is gonna be second down for the Falcons with five minutes and six seconds left in the clock for this first quarter. There's three yards to go for the Falcons. Vaughn takes a snap. It's going to be Williams who does get the ball, but is almost pushed back by the Tigers. Really not finding much success in the run game thus far this game. It is going to be third down for the Falcons. It is on the 45-yard line. With about four to go. Trips are on. The left side. Looks like the Tigers aren't jumping now. Two was enough for them. Now a message from Downtown Maslin Association. There's so much special about Maslin. You can't walk down the street without smiling and saying hello to someone who knows you, who knows your family. In today's society, we're getting fewer and fewer opportunities for families to enjoy each other in an outside activity that is free. We have that. It's a strong community. People give back. Maslin continues to give back with the residents and businesses to those in need, and, and it's a great thing to be a part of. Thank you, Downtown Maslin Association. Welcome back. It is third down for the Falcons. Was a timeout by the Falcons. No, no yeah, by the Falcons. Number nine, Vaughn at the QB position still. Drops back for the pass. Looks like he is being pressured by about all of the Maslin defense. And it looks like it was a pass to number 13, who is just going to march his way right into the Maslin end zone, scoring six points for the Falcons. That was number 13, Jaden Ellie. Looks like he almost got tripped up by the cornerback, but still ended up getting right through. Now for the PAT attempt. That is number 41, Bernie for the Falcons. 
kick is up. Almost blocked by Maslin. It is going to be good. Bringing the score 7-7 seven to seven with 3 minutes and 52 seconds left in the clock. And now a message from Doring Vision Center. Proper eye care is important. Doring Vision Center in downtown Massillon is a primary care optometry clinic. They use the latest technology and can treat most eye disease conditions. Doring Vision Center welcomes emergency eye visits and same-day appointments may be available. Most insurances are accepted, including government plans. Don't forget their optical showroom, featuring a wide variety of frames. From everyone at Doring Vision Center, Go Tigers! Thank you, Doring Vision Center. Welcome back after a Falcon score. Truly is showing that this is going to be a war tonight between these two great teams. Looks like Maslin is going to receive this ball. Looks like the returners are number 10, Zach Liebler, and number 19, Kyler Wiggins. Punter or kicker for the Falcons is number 41, Bernie. Looks like a little bit of a low kick is going to be picked up at about the 23. He's going to push his way up to the 39 yard line. There is three minutes and 48 seconds left on the clock for this first quarter. Now Maslin's offense comes out. Jalen Slaughter is at the QB position with two running backs on his hips. Looks like he drops back for a pass. Looks like it is going to go to number 18, Ardell Banks. And then there is going to be a flag. May possibly be on the Falcons. Defense pass interference, 15 yards from the previous spot. First down. Looks like that was on the Falcons. This is going to give the Tigers an extra 15 yards. It was pass interference. It is looking like the Tigers are going to be at about the 46-yard line. Looks like Slaughter takes, takes a snap. Hand off to Wiltro Hartson, who does make it to the Falcons' 40-yard line. Looks like it is taking about two or three defenders to take down Wiltro Hartson. the Tigers have lost one running back. It is only Hartson back there. Slaughter takes the snap. Looks like they are going to try and run Hartson up the middle again. Still pushing with two people on his back. That is impressive. Looks like it is going to be third down for the Tigers on the 37-yard line. Slaughter takes the snap. Looks like it is going to be a handoff to Wiltro Hartson again. Hartson does find a little room, but is taken down by two defenders at about the 32-yard line. It is the Falcons' 32-yard line. Seems like Maslin's strategy thus far has been run Wiltro Hartson up the middle, try and get as many yards as possible. 
It is first and 10 for the Tigers with two minutes and three seconds left on the clock. Slaughter takes a snap. Again, a handoff to Wiltro Hartson, who does break through both lines, but it seems like he was tripped up by someone. Looks like he is going to make it to about the 28-yard line. There is one minute and 37 seconds left on the clock in this first half, first quarter. Slaughter looking to take this. Slaughter gets a snap. Looks like a fake handoff to Hartson this time. Looks like he is going to try and scramble a little bit and slides. Gets to about. Looks to be the 27 yard line. It is third down for the Tigers with about five to go. Slaughter takes a snap, hand off to Wiltro Hartson. Hartson trying to break through with three people. It has taken this entire defense to get him back. Looks like he is going to be just one yard away from that first down. It is fourth down now. It does look that the Tigers are going to go for it. It is fourth and two on the 24-yard line. High energy in the stands. See if they can get this first down. It is a handoff to Dorian Pringle, number 34. Pushes down just about everybody on the line. Wow, what a, what a play that was. Does end up getting the first down. He was really just throwing everybody off him there. Looks like it is going to be at about the 14 yard line for the Tigers. First down. Uh, and now a message from Friends and Family Credit Union. Are you looking for something different? At Friends and Family Credit Union, our success is defined by you. Our goal is to improve your financial needs and better your lifestyle. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Our friendly staff is fully committed to serving over 11,000 of its members. What are you waiting for? Stop into one of our locations today and become a friend of the family. I'm Scott Laudermilk, personal trainer at the Maslin YMCA. I have some good news. I bet you're going to tell them that we've been in the community for over 100 years and we have two locations. And the YMCA offers financial assistance and income-based pricing so everyone is welcome. Remember, we also offer child care, full and half day preschool, school day off programs, before and after school, and summer camp. I was just going to say we got weights, baby! <laughs> Uh, thank you, Friends and Family Credit Union and the Maslin YMCA. Now as we get into our second quarter of the night, the score is 7-7. Seven to seven. Tigers are on the 14-yard line. That will be the Falcons' 14-yard line. Slaughter and Will Trail in the backfield. Number four, Hartson. Looks like Slaughter does take the snap. Looks like it is going to be a pass. And it is intercepted by the Falcons. Was intended for number 18, Ardell Banks. No flags on the play. Looks like it is going to be a Falcons ball. Really saved them from getting, from the Tigers getting an extra seven points on the board. That interception was by number two, Davion Pritchard for the Fitch Falcons. It is going to be first down right on the first year of the one yard line for the Falcons. What a turn of events for the Tigers this has been. Looks 
like tried to run it up the middle. Does not look like they made it very far. And that was number nine on the carry. Deshaun Vaughn, the quarterback. It is second down for the Falcons. Looks like number nine steps back for a pass, and he makes the pass. Looks like he does. That was number three, Dan Evans for the Falcons. It looks like he is going to put him on the nine yard line. It is third down for the Falcons. Really did look like the Falcons really dug a hole for themselves, but they got out of it. Looks like they were trying to get the Maslin Tigers to jump. Was not very successful. Looks like it is a timeout. Uh, now a word from our sponsor, Home Appliance. It's where we come together where we are rested, nourished, and renewed. It's where convenience and performance surround the ones we love. It's home. Home Appliance and Whirlpool help homes happen with innovation you can depend on and quality you can trust. Right now, purchase select Whirlpool Kitchen and Whirlpool Laundry Appliances and save. And pay no interest when paid in full within 12 months. Home Appliance, where your home comes together. Thank you, Home Appliance. Welcome back. It is third down for the Fitch Falcons. Maslin's defense is coming back out after that timeout. Looks like a little confusion on the line there. Vaughn takes a snap. Looks like it is a handoff to number five. James for the Falcons. Looks like they are going to get that first down on the 11 yard line, 12 yard line. Vaughn takes a snap. Looks like he dropped for a pass. Number 13 does shed off one blocker. That was number 13, Jaden Ellie, who previously scored a touchdown on the Tigers. Looks like it is going to be another Falcons first down. They are on the 29-yard line. Vaughn takes a snap. Looks like he dropped back for a pass. Pass is going long. Number 13, almost intercepted by number 10, Zachary Liebler. That was again intended for number 13, Jaden Ellie. Looks like that is smacked away by number 10 for the Tigers. Falcons, it is now second down on the 29 yard line. Vaughn takes a snap. Looks like he does drop back for another pass. That was intended, or that was for number three. Dan Evans does pick up a few yards for the Falcons. And it's going to be third down on the 35 yard line. That is third down with nine minutes and 19 seconds left in the second quarter. Vaughn takes a snap, drops back for another pass. Was intended for number three, Dan Evans the third. Again, 
but this time it was incomplete. Going to bring the Falcons to a fourth down. The Falcons are now bringing out their punt team. Try and get this one downfield. It is number 47. Punt this one away. Anthony Ruglis. The punt is up. Looks to make it. Oh, bounces forward into the 38-yard line for the Tigers. Tune in every Wednesday night following the Nate Moore Show for Swing on WHS-TV. Each week, Tiger Swing Band Director Jason Neal gets you caught up on all the band's news, and you'll get a preview of that week's halftime show. Watch Swing with Jason Neal every Wednesday night following the Nate Moore Show on WHS-TV. Find us on MCTV channels 6, 11, and 11. Slaughter in the QB position, as well as Will Tro Hartson in the running back position. Slaughter takes the snap. Looks like it was a fake handoff to Will Trail Hartson. It was a pass to Braylon Tolls, but is thrown back by the Falcons. Does look like he will pick up one yard, bringing it second and nine on the 40 yard line for the Tigers. There is eight minutes and 30 seconds left in the second quarter. Slaughter does take the snap. Looks like he drops back to pass again. Looks like it is going to, was intended for number 21, Braylon Tolls, for the Tigers, but it is going to be incomplete. Jalen Slaughter takes a snap, drops back. This is for number 18, Ardell Banks. He's still going a little bit. Looks like he is going to be on the pitch. 42-yard line. It's going to be first down for the Tigers. We'll be on the 41-yard line. Slaughter takes the snap, handoff to Will Trow Hartson. Number four breaks out, has a little bit of room to run. Looks like he did get to about the 26 yard line. It is now first down again for the Maslin Tigers. There is seven minutes left on the clock in this second quarter. Jalen Slaughter takes a snap. Another handoff to Hartson. Looks like he is trying to break through this defensive line, but is taken down by number 24, Donovan Bell Sullivan for the Falcons. They are pulling Woltrell Hartson onto the sideline. It looks like they are going to trade him. Jalen Slaughter takes a snap. Looks like it is a handoff to number. Looks like it was number 32.
Hartson is now back into the game. Looks like they were trying to give him a little bit of a breather. Slaughter takes a snap, drops back for a pass. Looking for someone open. Does fire it to number 19, Kyler Wiggins. It is going to be another Tiger first down on the Fitch 18 yard line. A lot of energy in this crowd tonight already. Really boosting their Tigers. It is first and 10 for the Tigers with five minutes and 28 seconds left on the clock. Slaughter does take the snap. Looks like it is to number four, Weltro Hartson. Doesn't make it very far. Looks like it is gonna put him on the eight yard line, 13 yard line. It is second down. Slaughter again has both running backs to his side. He takes a snap. Looks like that handoff was to number 32. That would be number 32, Peyton Mitchell for the Tigers. We did see Dorian Pringle, number 34, take a pretty nasty fall out there. But he is back in the game now. Slaughter again, takes a snap. Number four, Wiltro Hartson gets the touchdown after jumping over his own line. Looks like he jumped on the back of some of his linemen there. Looks like he jumped on the back of number 53, Sam Snodgrass. Just barely reaching into the end zone to get that touchdown. We'll bring the score 13 to seven for the Tigers. Looks to kick this one away is number five, Vinnie Keller once again. 14, Calix Collins with the holder. The kick is good, bringing the score 14 to seven with four minutes and 24 seconds left on the clock. And now a word from our sponsor, WHS Alumni Association. The WHS Alumni Scholarship Committee is a branch of the Alumni Association that began in 1986. To date, the committee has given out over 600 scholarships to WHS graduating seniors, totaling over $825,000. They currently give scholarships of $1,000 each to as many as 35 qualifying seniors and to the winners of the Miss Massalonian and Outstanding Senior Boy Award. The funding for scholarships comes directly from donations at their annual fundraising event, the Distinguished Citizens Banquet. Thank you, WHS Alumni Association. Now as we come back, Maslin is gonna kick this one away. That is number 87, Nolan Hendricks. Kick this away for the third time tonight. And the kick is now up. Looks like it is gonna go to about the 20 yard line. He is going to be taken down at the 26-yard line. Now the Falcon offense and the Maslin defense come out. Vaughn does take the snap. It looks like it was a handoff. Number 42, DJ Williams. That is number nine, Deshaun Vaughn in the QB position. 
DJ Williams in the running back position. Vaughn takes a snap, drops back to pass. Can't really find anybody. Looks like he's going to run it himself. There is a flag on the play. It's taken down by about three massive defenders. There is a flag on the play. There to be the Tigers. Flag is down. Hold. Austin Town, 10 yards. Looks like it is going to be a holding call on the Falcons. Is going to put them just about back where they started. It is on the 26 yard line, second and 10. Vaughn at the QB position. Takes the snap. Looks like he's going to run it out. Looks like it was a handoff to number 42, DJ Williams. He is finding a little bit of room. He is going to be ran out of bounds. At about the 34 yard line. It is third down for the Falcons. There's three minutes and 17 seconds left on the clock. Vaughn takes a snap, drops back for a pass. Looks like he's gonna throw it a long way. Owen almost intercepted again by number 10, Zachary Lee, brother, for the Tigers. It is gonna bring the Falcons to a fourth down. Could have been disastrous for the Tiger defense. That pass was intended for number 13, Jaden Eloy. Falcons looking to punt this one away. Looks like there was a timeout. And now a message from Spectrum Orthopedics. Welcome back to the court. This trail and that field. Welcome back to your mat, the course, and coming back like you never left. Trust the area's leader in orthopedic care, Spectrum Orthopedics. We'll get you moving again and maybe even better than before. You have one life to live. Let's get you back to living it. Thank you, Spectrum Orthopedics. Now as we come back, there is three minutes and 10 seconds left on the clock. Number nine, Vaughn comes back out. Looks like they are going to go for it. Got a little ways to go. Get this first down. Looks like there was another timeout. And now a word from our sponsor, Discount Outlet. Discount Outlet is bringing you the latest and greatest deals you have to see to believe. We have huge selections at closeout prices for all of your everyday essentials, clothing, toys, home decor, and much more. When we say tiny, tiny prices, prices are, are a big, big deal, deal, that means big savings on all of your favorite name brand products. Start saving today at Discount Outlet on First Street in Massillon. The treasure hunt starts here. Miss a day, miss a deal. Discount Outlet, where tiny prices are a big deal. Thank you, Discount Outlet. Tigers are 
just used their last time out of the game. It is fourth and three for the Tigers. I mean, for the Falcons. Looks like they are going to punt it. Punt is up. There is no returners for the Tigers. Uh, be sure to tune in next week for more exciting Maslin Tiger football as our Tigers play host to the Middletown Cavaliers from Delaware. Watch the rebroadcast on WHS-TV on October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at 12, 4, and 8 p.m. And on October 4th at 8 p.m. Catch all the action of Maslin Tiger football all season long on WHS-TV. Watch us on MCTV channel 611 and 11. Looks like Jalen Slaughter will hand it off to number four, Wiltro Hartson, as Maslin offense does come out. There is two minutes and 41 seconds left on the clock. Jalen Slaughter steps back to pass. Does find a little room to run himself. He's going to walk himself out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Jalen Slaughter takes the snap. So he drops back to pass again. It is going to be a far pass. And there's a flag. Could possibly be pass interference on the Falcons. Pass interference. Austin Town. 15 yards previous spot. Don't make a first down. That was pass interference by the Falcons. It is going to be a first down for the Tigers on the Falcons' very own 40-yard line. Jalen Slaughter tried to make them jump. Did not work out. Jalen Slaughter takes the snap. Looks like he is dropping back to pass. Oh, and a jump and a catch, but he does lose the ball. Incomplete. That was number 18, Ardell Banks. He did jump up and try and grab that, and he had it when he came back down. Just came out of his hands. Stuff like that happens. It is second down for the Tigers now. Still on the 40-yard line with 10 to go. Jalen Slaughter steps back to pass again. Looks like it is to number four, Welcho Hartson. Oh, he does fly out, out of bounds. Onto the blacktop. Almost hits the barrier there. He is giving a thumbs up to the sideline. Personal foul, 42, Austin Town. Half the distance to the goal, first down. There was a personal foul on the Falcons. It is going to be another Tiger first down going to be on the 15 yard line. Tigers in a really good scoring position. Slaughter takes a snap. Hand off to Wiltro Hartson again. Doesn't find much success. Is tripped up by number nine, 
Deshaun, Deshaun Vaughn. Looks like Maslin does bring out a few more receivers. Slaughter takes a snap, drops back for a pass. Looks like it is caught by number four, Will Trell Hartson, and just smacks down the QB for the Falcons. That was a hard hit there. There is one minute and 30 seconds left in this first half. Is gonna put the Tigers on the, on the four yard line. Slaughter again has two running backs on his sides. Hartson does. That was number 34, Dorian Pringle on a touchdown again, bringing the score to 20 to seven. Keenan Keller, kick this one up. The PAT is good, bringing the score 21 to seven. Now a message from Maslin Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Thanks to the Maslin Boys and Girls Club. Here we go as number 87, Nolan Hendricks, going to kick this one off for the fourth time tonight for the Tigers. You can tell Maslin is pumped after yet again another touchdown. Kick is now up. It's going to make it to about the 10-yard line. Falcons have a little room to run. Does get does get cut down by the Tigers at the 28 28 yard line Vaughn at the QB position again. Passes to number 13, Jaden Ellis. He is going to make it to the Maslin. Looks to be about the Maslin 42 yard line. Vaughn takes a snap, drops back for a pass. Quick pass to, looks like that pass was to number three, Dan Evans. And it's gonna be another first down for the Falcons. Really making up a lot of, a lot of work. There is 42 seconds left in the clock. That ball is on the 30 yard line. Vaughn does take the snap. Once again, drops back for a pass. Looking for someone. Looks like it is gonna be number three, Dan Evans. Still up. There is a flag on the play. 
The ball didn't end up landing at the Tiger 15 yard line. Awaiting the official decision. Dead ball, personal foul, late hit, orange, half the distance to the goal, first down. Looks like that was a personal foul on Maslin. Was a late hit. He's going to put him on about the eight yard line. Great scoring potential here. Looks like Vaughn still has the ball. Oh, and a. Looks like it is going to be a touchdown. Is going to be a touchdown. Score will be 13 to 21. Vaughn took a nasty hit by number one, Jaden Welch. Really cut him in half there. Looks like they are going to attempt to kick this one for the extra point. Looks like they did. Did end up getting Maslin to jump there. Looks like that was on Malachi Card. Encroachment, half the distance, still on the try. He's going to put him up five more yards, kick this one in. Oh, looks like they're going to try and go for two. He's being pressured by all of Maslin. It is caught. Almost intercepted. Is intercepted by Maslin. It is going to be no good. Now a message from Buell and Oliveri Insurance. If you're like most people, your life is a series of brush strokes, large and small. Moments from the everyday to the extraordinary. As you move through your world, let Grange Insurance and an independent agent put the finishing touches on an insurance plan to meet your needs. Now, that's a stroke of genius. Buell and Oliveri Insurance is your Grange independent agent in Maslin. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call or visit our website today. Thank you, Buell and Oliveri Insurance. After that touchdown, that will bring the score to 13 to 21. Maslin is up with 18 seconds left on the clock. That is number 41, Bernie, to kick this one away for the Falcons. up. Down, I should say. Looks like it was almost an onside kick. Was to about the 30. Takes about two defenders to bring down. Carry was by number number 44, Kamari Moore. There is only 12 seconds left in this first or in this first half. Slaughter does try to get their defensive line or anybody to to budge there. Is unsuccessful. Slaughter does take the snap, drops back for a pass. Looks like he does throw it to Ardell Banks, who does. Looks like it is going to be incomplete. Looks like he did have control of it, but it did slip out of his hands. Yeah. 
Looks like the Tigers are on the 47 yard line. It is second down. Looks like they are gonna head into the half. Leading the final score, 21 to 13. Oh, after these messages from Discount Tire Outlet. Your first set of wheels didn't come with complications or strings or hassles. It can be that way again. There's a simpler way to buy tires at Tire Pros. We're hassle free, guaranteed. The Washington High School Alumni Association provides many services to the alumnus and the community. One of the most rewarding things is helping classes with their class reunions or milestone birthday celebrations. If a class chooses to use the Alumni Association, envelopes and labels will be provided at no cost and your invitations will be mailed out as bulk mail, which is a cheaper cost to the class. The Alumni Association also prints a newsletter twice a year. If you make an annual donation of no less than $5, you will receive the newsletter via mail in the spring and fall. If you have moved or your contact information has changed, please visit our website at maslinwhsaa.org and complete the alumni information form to make any changes. If you are interested in joining the Alumni Association, please contact any trustee or call the alumni office at 330-830. 3901, extension 51617. Fresh, great tasting pizza can be difficult to find. Your pizza shop located on Mathlin's west side has been making delicious pizzas since the 1960s. Their large menu includes your favorite pizzas and toppings, along with wings, pressure fried chicken, oven baked subs, and more. Their convenient drive through window is open. Delivery service is available too. Your Pizza Shop, located on the corner of Lincoln Way West and 32nd Street Northwest in Maslin. Hello, and welcome to the Stark County Humane Society. Today we're going to give you a few pointers when considering adopting a new furry friend. All animals here at the Stark County Humane Society are spayed, neutered, microchipped, vaccinated, dewormed, and if old enough, heartworm tested for our canine friends. Adopters will receive a free exam within two weeks of adoption at local veterinarian hospitals. We encourage all adopters to take full advantage of this. A one-time adoption fee is required for your new furry friend. When you adopt, you get an awesome adoption packet that includes treats for your new fur baby and savings for you. But this is not where the cost of adoption stops. Did you know the average cost of an animal like a new puppy or kitten can cost up to $500 annually? This includes annual veterinary visits, preventative care, and everyday supplies like crate, litter, food, toys. But I hope this doesn't scare you away. Adopting an animal is a huge responsibility and a commitment. Please take the time to consider the cost of adopting a new pet into your family today. I hope to see you soon at the Stark County Humane Society. Please visit our website or visit us on social media for more information. Now coming out is the Maslin Washington Swing Band. Hopefully to give us a great show tonight.
Once again, our band director, Mr. Jason Neal. Now that we come back from a really great halftime show, bringing the Mathlet Middle School out to blow the band is Hey fans, really tonight 50-50 drawing is worth $2,300, and the winning number is 015125. Again, the winning number is 015125. Everyone here at WHS-TV would like to thank the following sponsors for their financial support, allowing us to bring you tonight's game. Our sponsors, Mears Nissan, Downtown Maslin Association, Doring Vision Center, Friends and Family Credit Union, the Maslin YMCA, the Home Appliance Company, the WHS Alumni Association, Spectrum Orthopedics, Discount Outlet, the Boys, the Maslin Boys and Girls Club, Buell and Oliveri Insurance, Discount Tire Outlet, Your Pizza Shop, Medicap Pharmacy, Cosmos Grill, Reliable Heating and Cooling, Buffalo Wild Wings and Maslin, Erie Street Pub, and MCTV. Now as we come back, what happened there? Looks like an onside kick of some sort. Looks like Maslin was intending to receive the ball. There is a, there is a flag on the play. It does look like it is going to be Maslin's ball. Official decision. trying to make the D-line jump it is unsuccessful. Jalen takes a snap, does give it to Wiltro Hartz, and he does find a little, a little bit of room to run. run. Number five for the Falcons. Looks like he's dragging on, holding on for dear life on the Wiltro Hartz. That was number five, Jamal James did end up bringing him down. Doesn't look like there was a flag on the play. Bringing the Tigers back to their very own. 97, Maslin, replay. First down. To the 45 yard line. It is first down. First and 19 to go. Jalen Slaughter once again tries to get their defense to jump, but is unsuccessful. Slaughter does take the snap, hand off to Hartson. Hartson does find a little bit of room to run. Big first run for this first half. Looks like it is going to throw them on the Fitch's 44-yard line. It is second down for the Tigers. Jalen Slaughter once again tries to get the defense to jump for the third time. 
is unsuccessful. There is 11 minutes and nine seconds left on the clock. Slaughter does take the snap, hand off to Hartson. Hartson does find a breaking two tackles, still running. Does get that first down. Will be the first, will be a first down for the Tigers. It's gonna be on Fitch's 29 yard line. Jalen Slaughter once again does try to get their defense to jump. Once again, not very successful. Slaughter does take a snap. It looks like it is a handoff to number 32, Peyton Mitchell. Does make, does find a little bit of success in the run. It is going to be second and one. 21 yard line. Jalen Slaughter really is testing their defensive line. Jalen Slaughter, handoff to Mitchell. Mitchell breaks through his own O line, jumps over a pitch defender, but is knocked down by their QB at number nine. Vaughn. It is Deshaun Vaughn. Up for the Falcons. Looks the the like they are going to be on the 13 yard line. Another attempt at getting them to jump is unsuccessful. Hand off to Mitchell. Bounces off number 77, Mikey Mercurio of the Tigers. The carry. Number 52, Mark Stanghorn. Did bounce off the pitch. side. Looks like. Curio is stumbling to get up, but it does get up. Second and eight for the Tigers on the Falcons 11. Once again, tries to get him to jump. Looks like Hartson is back. Hand off to Hartson. He's breaking through. He might make it to the touchdown, but he does not. Does come down on Fitch's very own two yard line. It is going to be another nasty situation for Fitch. Great scoring potential for the Tigers. Done a really good, good job this game. Two running backs on Jalen's side. Looks like it is a pass handoff to Hartson, but it's dragged down. By number one, Cam Smith from the Falcons. Looks like Wiltro Hartson and Dorian Pringle are both running backs out on this field. Jalen Slaughter still at the QB position. Jalen takes the snap to Dorian Pringle. It's going to be close. And it is going to be a touchdown for the Tigers, bringing the score to 27 to 13. That was number 34, Dorian Pringle for the Tigers. Number five, Vinny Keller. Kick this one in. Holding for him is number 14, Calix Collins. Kick is up. It is going to be good. Bringing the score 28 to 13 with eight minutes and 23 seconds left in the third quarter. And now a message from Medicap Pharmacy. Medicap Pharmacy on Lincoln Way West has been serving our area for over 20 years. They're your local pharmacy that cares about you and your time. I can get them filled from five to 10 minutes. If I go to a chain drug store, I may have to wait half hour to an hour. They're probably the best uh, pharmacist in the city. Hi, I'm Chris Kingsbury, owner and pharmacist at Medicap Pharmacy. Stop in sometime soon and you can experience our fast and friendly service. Thank you, Medicap Pharmacy. Does look like Maslin does kick this one off. 
The receiver is number one, Cam Smith, is finding quite a bit of room to run. Looks like he is taken down at about the 32, 33 yard line. Now Maslin's defense is coming out as well as Fitch's offense coming out to hopefully put some more points on this board. Vaughn is at the quarterback position, takes the snap, hand off to Williams. Gains a little bit of yards. That was a tackle by number 30 for the Tigers. Dier Pringle, brother of Dorian Pringle. Vaughn does take the snap. Looks like a fake handoff. And a pass to number 13, Jaden Ellis. It is now third down for the Falcons with about four to go. Vaughn tries to get the defense to tries to get the defense to jump. Unsuccessful. Vaughn takes a snap. Once again to Williams. Once again, another tackle by D.R. Pringle. It is now fourth down for the Falcons. There is a flag on the play, though. It is fourth and two. the official decision. Dead ball on sportsmanlike conduct. Austin Town. 15 yard penalty. Fourth pound. Really is gonna set Austin Town back 15 yards on sportsmanlike conduct. Looks like they're about to punt this one away. Gets down to about the 41 yard line. We hope you are enjoying our coverage of Maslin Tiger football on WHS TV and MC TV. Did you know WHS TV is everywhere on digital media? Be sure to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to us at WHS TV's YouTube channel, where you can see some of WHS TV's best moments. Now comes out the Maslin offense. They are on the 41-yard line. Jalen Slaughter at the QB position. Hartson at the running back position. Slaughter trying to get defense to jump. It is a false start on the offense. Kind of backfired Five on him. Yards. Still first down. It is still first down, putting him at about the 36 yard line. Jalen Slaughter takes a snap, hand off to Hartson. Hartson breaks through both lines, it is caught up by the linebackers. Looks like a combination between Cam Smith and Deshaun Vaughn. It is now second down for the Tigers.
Once again, trying to get the defense to jump. With six minutes and 37 seconds left on the clock for this third quarter. Slaughter takes the snap. Once again, hand off to Hartson. Hartson gets through, but is hit in the leg by number nine, Deshaun Vaughn, for the Falcons. And it will be third and one for the Tigers on the 50-yard line. Looks like Jalen Slaughter once again has two running backs on each of his hips. Takes the snap, hand off to Dorian Pringle, who is pulled over the defensive line. Will get that first down. Dorian Pringle is now leaving the field. Coming back on the field is number 19, Kyla Wiggins. Jalen Slaughter drops back to pass. Looks like it is going to go to, oh, and it is intercepted. Another turn of events for Maslin. Looks like that was. That was intercepted by the quarterback for Austin Town Fitch. That was number nine, Deshaun Vaughn. What a two way player that is right there. Be the second interception for the Tigers tonight. It is first down for the Falcons on the 16 yard line. Bad snap to Vaughn. He's being pressured by just about everyone on the defense. Maslin almost snapped back. There is a flag on the play. Almost snapped back with an interception of their own. Cover was by number 10, Zachary Liebler. And number 33, Cody Fair. There is a flag on the play. Want to bring up how impressive it really is to see a two-way player making interceptions and oh, throwing the ball. Pass interference. Awesome time. Half the distance to the goal. Hey, good job, Dean. Let's keep it going. Looks like it was a flag on Fitch. Going to put him back a few more yards. Is going to put him on about the eight yard line. Vaughn takes the snap. Hand off to number five, Jamel James. Tackle on the play. Was number 10, Zachary Liebler. And number 12, Brandon Carmen. It is now second down for the Falcons with four minutes and 47 seconds left on the clock. Vaughn takes the snap. Officials are blowing the ball dead. There is a timeout on the play. And now a message from Doring Vision Center. Proper eye care is important. Doring Vision Center in downtown Massillon is a primary care optometry clinic. They use the latest technology and can treat most eye disease conditions. Doring Vision Center welcomes emergency eye visits and same day appointments may be available. Most insurances are accepted, including government plans. 
Don't forget their optical showroom, featuring a wide variety of frames. From everyone at Doring Vision Center, Go Tigers! Thank you again, Doring Vision Center. Now as we come back, it is second and 18 for the Falcons. Falcons have a really long way to go. Get to that first down. Number nine, Vaughn, takes the snap. Looks like there was a flag on the play. Dead ball. False start, Austin Town. Half the distance to the goal. Defeat second down. It is now second down. Even worse situation for Austin Town Fitch. They're now 22. Second and 22. All the way on their very own four yard line. Vaughn does take the snap. Looks like it is going to go to Jamal James. Oh, and it's almost taken out for a safety. There is a flag. The tackle was by number 34, Dorian Pringle. Dead ball, personal foul, Maslin, 15 yard penalty, fourth down. It is fourth down. There was a penalty on Maslin, personal foul. takes a snap, fake handoff. Looks like he's trying to find someone to throw it to, but scrambles, gets caught up by a combination of three, three Maslin defenders. Looks like they are trying to punt this one away. Ball is up. I think it is going to be a fair catch. Number 10, Zachary Liebler on the catch. There is two minutes and 59 seconds left on the clock. The ball will be on the 41 yard line. It is first down for the Tigers. Jalen Slaughter tries to get the defense to jump. Not successful. Slaughter takes a snap, hand off to Hartson. Hartson trying to find his way through, being just pulled down by number nine, Deshaun Vaughn of the Falcons. Once again, trying to get the defense to jump. That is number 32, Peyton Mitchell, in place of Will Trell Hartson. Snap. 
to the heart or snap to slaughter, then to Mitchell. It is now third down for the Tigers. It is on the 48 yard line with three yards to go. Hartson is back in the running back position for the Tigers. Slaughter once again tries to make him jump. Slaughter takes a snap. Now to Hartson. Hartson getting tripped up by number nine, Deshaun Vaughn of the Falcons. His helmet does come flying off. Will now be fourth down for the Tigers. Looks like the Tigers are going to go for it. Slaughter once again has both of his running backs on his hips. Slaughter takes a snap to Dorian Pringle and pushes over just about everybody but is taken down by number two. Davion Pritchard of the Falcons. It is going to be a first down for the Tigers. Slaughter takes a snap. Hand up to Hartson. Hartson runs right up the middle. Has quite a bit of room. Looks like that will be on a be at the Falcons' very own 18-yard line. There's a run. A number four, Will Charles Hartson, who does come out. Peyton Mitchell comes back on the field. Slaughter takes a snap to Mitchell. Mitchell is stopped, but he's still pushing. Looks like he may have gotten a yard. It is second down for the Tigers on the 18-yard line. It is the end of the quarter. And now a message from our sponsor, Friends and Family Credit Union. At Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members, assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyle. Hi, I'm Gina, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union, where we provide loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. Hungry for a great lunch or dinner? Then it's time to head to Cosmos Grill in downtown Maslin. You'll enjoy their friendly, welcoming atmosphere and their hardworking wait staff. At Cosmos Grill, their large menu offers you a great selection of appetizers, soups, salads, entrees, and more. For a special treat, order one of their mouth-watering Hearthstone baked pizzas, cooked up fresh and delicious every time. Carryout and curbside pickup are both available at Cosmos Grill, located in downtown Maslin. Thank you to Friends and Family Credit Union and Cosmos Grill. At the end of the quarter, this is now the fourth quarter. The score is 28 to 13. Maslin still in possession of the ball. Once again, Slaughter does have both of his running backs to his hips. Once again, tries to get him to jump, but no avail. Slaughter takes the snap, hand off to Hartson. Hartson finds a little gap in the line. Looks like he brings it to about the 14-yard line. 
It is now third down for the Tigers with about five to go. Both running backs still at Jalen Slaughter's sides. Slaughter takes a snap, hand off to Hartson. Hartson making his way. He might make it into the end zone, and he does. Looks like a Fitch defender was just trying to hang on and maybe pull him out. Bringing the score 34 to 13 in the fourth quarter with 11 minutes and 16 seconds left on the clock. Vinny Keller once again to attempt the PAT. His holder, number 14, Calix Collins. Kick is up. Looks like it will be good. Another word from our sponsor, Mears Nissan. Getting this far hasn't been easy. We conquered uphill battles, unexpected twists, and moments that challenged our capability, showing up stronger every time. These tests prepare us to handle any territory. That's why Nissan spent generations testing limits and pushing boundaries so you can experience the thrill of driving beyond your wildest dreams. This is the new Nissan. Thank you, Mears Nissan. Score is now 35 to 13 after that PAT. There is 11 minutes and 16 seconds left on the clock. Looks like number 87, Nolan Hendricks to kick this one away. Kick is up. Whistles are blown. Did make it to about the 10 yard line. Dead ball, offsides, Maslin, five yards, re-kick. Maslin will be offsides. It's gonna put him back five yards. Nolan Hendricks looking to kick this one down there again. Kick is up. Looks like it was about to the 15 yard line. Fitch is finding a little room. Makes it to around the 42 yard line. Vaughn is at the QB position, takes a snap. Looks like a fake handoff. Pass to number three. And is taken down. That was Dan Evans. Looks like he does pick up around two, two yards, bringing it to the 44 yard line. Vaughn takes a snap. He is running it a little downfield. Long pass. Number 13, he has a long way to go. It is a touchdown for the Falcons. He was wide open. That was number 16, Dominic Perry for the Falcons. That'll bring the score to 19 
35 to 19. Fitch is lined up to go for two. Vaughn takes a snap, drops back for a pass. Once again, wide open, number 13, Jaden Ellis. And now a word from Spectrum Orthopedics. What moves you? The challenge? The game? The victory? At Spectrum Orthopedics, what moves you moves us to provide the highest level of orthopedic care. Our sports medicine specialists offer options beyond the expected to help you leave pain in the past. Our customized treatment plans, convenient orthopedic urgent care, on-site surgical center, and physical therapy services will get you moving again, and maybe even better than before. You have one life to live. Let's get you back to living it. Thank you, Spectrum Orthopedics. Welcome back. Seems Fitch is looking to kick this one away once again. The score is 35 Maslin, 21 Fitch. And here's a timeout message from Reliable Heating and Cooling. There was a time when 10 miles to the gallon was acceptable. Today's 40 plus mile per gallon cars weren't even in the rear view mirror back then. Of course, this Linux air conditioner wasn't on the radar either. It's solar ready, the quietest, most energy efficient air conditioner you can own. It's time to live in the now. Call Reliable Heating and Cooling for the most advanced technology in heating and air conditioning. When you're ready to live in the now, call Reliable Heating and Cooling. Lennox, air is life, make it perfect. Thank you, Reliable Heating and Cooling. Now as we come back, it does look like Fitch is rearing up for an onside kick once again. It is number 41. Josh. Bernie. Or Bernie. Fitch looks to kick this one. It is an onside kick. It is caught. Is still going to be Maslin's, Maslin's ball. Looks like that was number 19, Kyler Wiggins, on the reception there. Looks like the Tigers are on the 48-yard line. Jalen Slaughter at the QB position. Trying to get the defense to jump once again. Wooltrell Hartson in running back position. Slaughter takes a snap, handoff to Hartson. He does make it to about the 49 yard line. It is now second down with 10 minutes and 23 seconds left in the clock. Slaughter again tries to make him jump. Slaughter takes a snap. Once again, handoff to Hartson. Hartson does find a little gap, but is pulled down by Deshaun Vaughn, number nine for the Falcons. It is a Tiger first down. They are at the Fitch 40 yard line. 
And the carry is good for a first and ten for the Tigers. Looks like Will Trell came out and they put Peyton Mitchell back on the field. Number 32 for the Tigers. Slaughtered. Hand off to Mitchell. Mitchell still trying to find a way around his own old lineman, but is taken down by number 52. Stank orb for the Falcons. It is now second down for the Tigers. Slaughter tries to get them to jump one more time. Mitchell still at the running back position. Slaughter takes a snap, hand off to Mitchell. Mitchell somehow breaks through, then there's a fumble. Looks like they are going to count it as a down. There is no fumble there. Looks like Mitchell got hit in the side. Kind of went down a little awkward on the ball. Number four, Wiltro Hartson is coming back out. Jalen Slaughter to Hartson. Hartson gets taken down by number one, Cam Smith. They're at about the 25 stretch that the 24 yard line. Jalen Slaughter takes the snap to Hartson. Looks like he does get barreled by just about the entire defensive lineman. All went down on him. Slaughter does have both of his running backs at his hips. That is number 34, Dorian Pringle. Number four, Hartson. Hand off to Hartson. Great block by Pringle. Looks like he ran over a Fitch defender. That was Hartson on the carry. Does get another Tiger first down. That is going to be on Fitch's. 18 yard line. Still with both running backs at his side. There is six minutes and 45 seconds left on the clock in this final portion of the game. Hand off to Hartson. Stiff arm. Nice stiff arm by Hartson. Gets him a few extra yards. It is going to be second down for the Tigers. They are going to be on about the eight-yard line. Another great scoring, high scoring potential for the Tigers. Both running backs are still on Jalen Slaughter's sides. Looks like a handoff to to Dorian Pringle getting barreled through. Dorian Pringle is like a lineman with the speed of some running back or with, with the speed of some wide receivers. Really use that to his advantage. Barrel right through it. It is third down with one to go. for the Tigers. Slaughter takes a snap once again to Pringle. Pringle looks like he's gonna make it all the way and he does. 
that will bring the score to 41 to 21. There is a flag on the play though. Looks like there is a player on the ground from Fitch. Takes a lot to step up against the Maslin offense. Strong running backs, a really strong offensive line. Stuff like this happens quite often. Maslin, touchdown is good. We forced on a kickoff. Touchdown is still going to be good. And now a message from Maslin Boys and Girls Club for this injury. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Thank you, Maslin Boys and Girls Club. Now they kick this one. Kick this one in is number five, Vinnie Keller for the Maslin Tigers. Kick is up. And it is good, bringing the score to 42 to 21. And now a word from our sponsor, Buffalo Wild Wings in Maslin. B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free traditional wings on Wing Tuesdays. It's like hitting a lot of twice, right in the mouth. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. Hey, Bones, love saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. Thank you, Buffalo Wild Wings in Maslin. After that penalty before the touchdown, or on the touchdown play, Maslin is going to be pushed back for this kickoff. Again, it's going to be number 87, Nolan Hendricks. Kick this one downfield for the Tigers. Maslin offense and defense have been really impressive tonight up against such a talented team. Getting ready to kick this one off. The kick is up. Just barely going to bounce out of bounds at the 30-yard line. The Fitch offense will again come back out.
dead ball, kick out of bounds, mass on the ball, who spark at the 50 yard line. First time. This looks like the ball will start on the 50 yard line. Not a great start for the Maslin defense. Vaughn at the QB position. Takes a snap, drops back for a pass. Looks like he is gonna go deep for number 13. He has room to run, but is chased down by number 10. What a hustle by number 10. It was Zach Liebler really chased him down there. That reception was by number 13, Jaden Nelly for the Falcons. Giving them another first down at about the 15 yard line. Another quick pass to Jay Nelly. Bring them to the 10 yard line. It'll be second down. Vaughn gets the snap. Looks like he can't really run anywhere. Almost sacked. Almost sacked again. Looks like it is a pass to number five. Jamel James. What turned almost to disaster. All the way to something great. Bringing the score to 27 to 42 with five minutes and 17 seconds left on the clock. Looks like Fitch is looking to put another point on the board. Kick is up, and it's good. Bringing the score to 42 to 28. And now a message from Buell and Oliveri Insurance. One minute, you're out there living life to the fullest. The next thing you know, you've got sweeping changes to make and your family's future to think about. Talk to a Grange independent agent about how to save by putting all of your insurance with Grange, protecting your possessions and the ones you love. When things zig instead of zag. Buell and Oliveri Insurance is your Grange independent agent in Maslin. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call or visit our website today. Thank you, Buell and Oliveri Insurance. Now as we come back, Maslin is looking to receive the ball, potentially fire back. Number 41, Josiah Bernheim. Kick this one out. Here goes another onside kick. Is caught by Maslin. Tigers are on it. Looks like that reception was by number 12. Scratch that out by number 21, Braylon Tolls. Looks like the Tigers will be on the 49-yard line.
Jalen Slaughter trying to get the defense to jump. The snap is up to Hartson. Tries to jump over the O-line, but gets caught up on the D-line. Gets to about the 48. The Austin Town Fitch is 48. It will be second down for the Tigers with four minutes and 53 seconds left on the clock. Jalen Slaughter takes a snap, hands it off to Hartson. Hartson makes it to about the 43 yard line. Slaughter again has two running backs on his hips. Slaughter takes the snap, hand off to Hartson. Then it's Dorian Pringle. Pringle's over three people, almost a fourth, but is brought down. It's like Jay Neely managed to take down the behemoth that is Dorian Pringle. He has been steamrolling and mauling this defense all night. It is now first down on the 15 yard line for the Tigers. Dorian Pringle has been subbed out for Peyton Mitchell, number 32 for the Tigers. Jalen Slaughter takes the snap. Now to Hartson. Hartson not really finding what says. I am wrong, he is actually stiff on two people. Getting to about the six yard line. It is second down with three minutes and 14 seconds left in this ball game. Jalen Slaughter still has both of his running backs at each hip. Looks like it was a handoff to number 32, Peyton Mitchell. Pretty close to the end zone there. It is now first and goal for the Tigers on the two yard line. Slaughter tries to get him to jump. Looks like there was a false start on the Tigers. We'll bring him to about the six yard line. There's two minutes and 32 seconds left in this ball game. It's still first down for the Tigers. Looks like it is gonna be another false start on the offense, putting them back to the 12 yard line, scratched at the 11 yard line. It is their second false start in a row. Looks like it was on Ardell Banks, number 18. Right. 
Slaughter does take the snap, hand off to Wiltrell Hartson. It looks like he is, has a perfect lane. Get to the end zone there. That is gonna be another Maslin touchdown. Two minutes and four seconds left on the clock. Bringing the score 48 to 28. Vinnie Keller to attempt the PAT. Kick is up. And it's good. Bringing the score 49 to 28 with two minutes and four seconds left in the clock. And now a word from our sponsor, Erie Street Pub. Big game's on. You could watch a game like this. Or you could watch a game like this surrounded by fans just like you. At the Erie Street Pub, the game never ends. Open seven days a week. Erie Street Pub has pub style food at the right price with daily lunch specials. Wednesday is ladies night and enjoy our large outside bar and patio. What's keeping you from the Erie Street Pub? Just up the road from Genshaft Fields. What are you waiting for? Come join us at Erie Street Pub. Thank you to the Erie Street Pub. Welcome back. Maslin looking to kick this one away. Fans are pumped. Student section all in pink. Same with our VIs. Nolan Hendricks kicks this one away to about the 20 yard line. That is number nine, Vaughn, almost slips up twice, is taken down by number 47, Marquavion Young. That was actually by number eight, Underwood for the Falcons. There's one minute and 56 seconds left on the clock. Fitch's offense coming out again. It's like it is number nine, Vaughn. Drops back for a pass. Looks like he is being pressured by just about all sides. Throws a deep pass to number three, Dan Evans. Vaughn takes the snap, drops back for a pass, being targeted by all the D-line. Looks like he does pass, a little short pass to number three, Dan Evans. It's gonna be third down for the Falcons. That will be on the 38 yard line. Minute and 24 left in the game. Trips on the right side. Vaughn steps back for a pass to number 42, Williams. Almost juked out the Maslin defender. But it's taken down. Get to the fourth down. He is going to be still on the 38 yard line. Vaughn once again. Receive, snap, drops back for a pass. Looks like he's being pressured by the D-line. Throws it to Williams. Owen is almost intercepted. 
by Calix Collins, number 14. There is now 29 seconds left. It is Tiger's ball. Looks like it is going to be a Tiger victory over Fitch. Another great win for the Tigers. Jalen Slaughter does kneel it down. And that's going to be the ball game. Great game by these two amazing teams. Amazing athletes on both sides. As we wrap up tonight's coverage of the Madison Tiger football, we're going to take time and thank the members of our WHS TV crew. Tonight's production crew includes on cameras Sebastian Carey and Leigh Turnip. Tonight's color commentator was K.O. Bishop, and I'm Robert Freilich, your play-by-play -play announcer. Also, thanks to our directors, Mr. Dewald and Mr. Rock. Once again, our final score is Maslin 49 and Fitch 28. Once again, everyone here at WHS TV wishes to thank all of our season long sponsors and our good friends at MCTV. Thanks for watching Maslin Tiger Football all season long on WHS TV. Welcome back to the court, this trail, and that field. Welcome back to your mat, the course and coming back like you never left. Trust the area's leader in orthopedic care, Spectrum Orthopedics. We'll get you moving again and maybe even better than before. You have one life to live. Let's get you back to living it. Around here, we like to cheer for the local team and MCTV is here to connect you to the game. MCTV provides reliable high-speed internet and Wi-Fi. From checking scores online, to streaming games or watching replays, or even playing the game yourself, we've got the speed you need. Call today to add or upgrade internet service. We're connecting what matters most. MCTV, we go the extra smile.